Hello everybody, welcome to my weird wonderful world. I am back again with another hot chicken video. I'm finally on my way to doing it. So I got everything ready and good to go. Now, of course I had, I'm, I'm starting this a little later in the afternoon than I really kind of would have liked. I wish I would have been able to start it a little earlier, but I'm okay. I went to go get my uh, my milk because I need to drink this before I before I even start before the meal, not after the meal, not because of the oh that's too hot. No, no, this is to coat my stomach in order, you know, so I can handle it. I still have to go to work later. I shouldn't be bad. I'm still tack tackling it uh, early enough in the afternoon. So, bottoms up. So we are using the Reaper 51 sauce as usual. Okay, at, if you can see, let's find that right there. It's right up where the label is. It's right up by where the label is. And then I'm going to try, I, well, I'm going to put it halfway. At about, yeah, about the halfway mark, right in the middle of where it is. So. That's a that's at least a good four dollars four dollars worth of sauce that I'm going to be putting in there. So if I'm not sweating, I don't know what. It, yeah, so I'm gonna shake it up first. Of course, you gotta give it a good shake. And this. With these kind of sauces, of course, once you open them, you do need to put them in the fridge. You just can't keep them up in the cupboard. So, let's see. I'm gonna, I want to really try to gauge how much I'm putting in there. Uh, I want to make sure I'm getting right to the... Oh gosh, I didn't even get halfway there. Okay. Oh wow. Actually, before I do that, I should turn on the stove. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn on the stove. Again, I like it at 400 degrees. And then, before I even do anything with the sauce, the sauce is a little bit, in a bit. Okay, I, going to put the yeah I usually get just the no name knockoff like the store name brand that is usually fine for for me especially when it comes to stuff like uh, I'm gonna keep the bag for another day for something else those those like I don't use the bags because I use my little uh, metal bowls so these bags can come in handy for other things I like to save those now, when I make my chicken, I usually use the whole box. Okay, so that's another couple, that's another two or three dollars. This meal here, basically all together, is going to cost me at least, you know, is worth at least ten dollars. So it's a pretty expensive little meal, but it's all good because it's all for you guys. I, I don't mind, but I will, I will admit right now. Okay. I will be doing this less and less, the hot chicken videos. It's not because I don't like doing it, it's just because I'm getting older, I want to start taking care of myself a little bit more, and so in that, that aspect of my life I might want to document at one point. So I start off with one pouch first, okay, so I will be using the other pouch. Pass that in the garbage there. And then, so, the chicken as it is, and I should have had this marinating, but yeah, it is what it is. My, now I, I lightly greased the pan. The pan is, is lightly greased. I hope you guys can all make things out a little bit. So I like to give it an initial coat, all the pieces of chicken. And I don't use I don't do wings anymore. I do chicken strips. 
That way there, I can get the whole thing in my, you know, the whole thing in there and, and I'm not wasting anything. I don't have these, these disgusting bones to throw out, you know, it's all done in one, one fell swoop and yeah. See. Always want to use your tongue. I don't touch the, the chicken with my bare hands. You know. I don't touch. I, I really don't touch the food at all with my bare hands. So that's giving it a nice little coating. It's just a pre coating. On, on, like I said, a nicely greased pan. I, I, I did use some oil. I am sort of kind of running out. So I got some vegetable oil. I'm at the bottom there, but yeah, it's fine. Oops, don't want that on there yet. So, this is not the coating that matters. It's the next coating that matters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's usually almost always eight, eight pieces per package. And I didn't pay too much for this. I, it was just a little un, it was just a little over five dollars for for the, these uh oops, sorry for for the chicken I threw away the wrapper oh these cupboards need a little, just a little bit of a fixing yeah, I am about ready to do some spring cleaning in here and probably in about a week or so. Yeah, I'm going to be going through the entire place and I'm cleaning like from, yeah, from one end to the other. I'm going to inventory everything I have and absolutely have to throw out anything that's, you know, that's really, that, I, that, that, don't care about the sentimental value for for it if I can sell it if it's something I can sell I'm going to sell but I won't want to throw away anything that's actually valuable or worth something to somebody I will sell it so okay I got a code I'm gonna put it in here and we're gonna we're gonna give that a good uh, I like to give it a good five minutes well I like to yeah I put it at six because it gives me a, a warning. Take another drink of my uh, my milk. So with my uh, yeah, with my spring cleaning, the stuff that I can sell that that uh, I will try to sell it. I will toss out things that I like that cannot things that cannot be sold will be will be tossed out. You know. I have to really weigh the, the sentimentality of it and and just it's not necessarily about conserving space exactly it's just about uh, being organized I really want this summer to have my place organized and and, and my floor needs a washing definitely needs a washing soon so I'll be doing that very soon yeah and so something else I wanted to kind of mention really soon there yeah, while we're actually while we're waiting is that I've been uh, yeah as you may know by now if you watch if you watch my channel I've been getting into the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard yeah yeah that's uh, that is uh, yeah it's crazy it's crazy I'm gonna put some more of that in here I, I put a lot of sauce already and so just before starting this video I had on I had on uh, some gum boot soup I was listening to that um, I got about halfway through the album and then I paused it just just to do this so now I got the yeah so if you can, hopefully you can see how much I put in there that's quite a bit right of the, of the Reaper uh, so you can see no, that's not quite halfway. No, nope, no, nope, just a little couple of squirts more. Just so. There we go. Okay. Now, wow, I can smell that. So, yeah. Uh, put that aside here, right by the microphone for now. 
Now, I have some uh, cherry cherry flavored no name sauce there. It, I want to mix a little bit of that in there to give it some thickness and some flavor because it, you're okay. You're you're never going to mask the uh, the heat. Okay, no matter what else you put in with it, it's just so it doesn't give it as harsh of a flavor. I find if you're just going with the straight Reaper, and that was what kind of did it for me that day when it was too strong because I didn't have much mixing in it it was just straight reaper sauce and so i'm also going to be putting some of course uh the store brand compliments you know is the store the store brand uh honey garlic sauce and if i if i don't have to buy the uh the the big name brand i won't i i i i will always tend to uh to pay for the you know the cost effective one and I find they're just as good so take the whisk also got a tiny little special bonus here for you something I want to do while we're kind of waiting we got about two minutes left before I put it back in when I went to the store to get the milk I brought just a little bit of change I had okay I had about six dollars in change it only cost me about two about two fifty almost three dollars for the uh, for the milk so that, that's no big deal give it a good little mix here and we're almost ready there for the yeah I'm gonna just keep put that to the side for now I'm gonna open this up so yeah okay when I went to the store I had a, I had some change left over from after the buying the milk I had about yeah I had about uh, I, so I had about three three fifty on me. That's that was enough to get uh, seven break opens. Now I don't gamble often at all. It's like uh, like uh, so rare, so rare that I ever think of or or get, and I never get like like the anything more than fifty cents, you know, at a time. So. Spending three dollars and fifty cents and getting seven, seven of the crisscross break opens here. Uh, I'm just going to try my luck, and it's a rare occasion. It, it may I may do it every. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to stop the clock, but it can stand to be in there for a minute more. Actually, I'm going to take it out right now. But I, but I'm going to. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's perfect, actually. Keep, keep the stove on. I'm going to actually break some open for you here and there. But before I do that... So, seven... Seven of these. So I got... And the, the odds are... Where are the odds? One in 11.81. Whew, okay. So if I had 12 of these, I'd have a little bit of a more of a chance of, uh, w of winning something. So my the odds are, of course, very much against me. The highest prize, uh, prize I could win is $100. You know, just if I get, if I get uh, three gold bars. But I'm kind of hoping for $25. You know, that'd be cool. But a hundred dollars would be awesome. I don't know what the odds are. I'm gonna open one, and as you see, no trios. So that's a dud. Okay, that's one down. I'm gonna just put that right there for now. Let's let's get some of this chicken uh, breaded. Okay, I am gonna stick that right here. I should really get something for the uh, for the surface there so that. It, but I didn't have it in there too long, but that will work. Now, this is this is where the magic begins. You take each of the chicken that you just cooked for like about five minutes at 400. Then I then I stick it into the sauce, right? And that's why I breaded it first because I want the sauce to stick to something. Then you put it back into the breading. That's why I added the extra 
the extra bag of breading. I stick it in, I st and then I stick it back on the pan. And yeah, and it's not, it's not cooked, like it, it heated up just enough to, uh, to, to bake the, the breading on there, but it's not, still really not cooked at all. I still want it in there for at least another 20 minutes once it once it uh, once I put it back in there and really make sure it cooks well. See and then see and then then I give it another coat of breading and then I stick it back onto the uh, pan. Put it into the sauce into the breading. And I will have enough breading for all of, all of that. And so I'm almost halfway through here. Now. Now as I reach the halfway mark, let's let's see if I if I'm gonna win something here. And another dud that's two for two losers so I still got five more to go so I'm gonna put that back here and then I should have enough yeah I, I do have enough sauce for the, for all of that just gotta make sure it's really well bred everywhere on it and then back on there and I find when they do come out they come out perfect they do come out perfect and I think I just measured that out perfect too exactly enough for everything and they're going to be delicious too with the with the uh, cherry sauce and then the honey garlic at the same time and I'm pretty familiar with the straight taste of what the uh, Reaper actually tastes like. And it, it's harsh. I uh, won't lie. It can be a little harsh. There's not the most pleasant flavor when you, uh, when you eat it straight. I won't lie. But I find it is not... It is, it, for how strong it is, it's not... It's not Terrible, terrible, terrible. I think, yeah. See, I just have just enough. Gotta kind of rub it in there, though. But I have just enough sauce left at the bottom to coat that last one here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, then, like, yeah. Then, you saw that in there. Okay, all right. So, remember, okay, earlier I was talking about King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Well, what I'm going to do, okay, in the next week or so, sorry about this noise, I'll stop in a minute. Now what I want to do in the next week or two, okay, is I'm going to uh, post a couple a of a, a <coughs> I'm sorry, it's the it's the it's the fume from the hot sauce, because that when that gets in your lungs, it can make you want to cough. All right, I'm going to put this back in. Okay. So what I like I said, what I wanted to do. Is uh, do uh, uh, will be mentioned in the uh, in the title of my video when I do it. I want to make a couple of videos, at least two or three, where I, I want to play certain type of music in the background, and I and it will be a uh, and it will be cop, you know, and it would be and it will be stuff that I don't think would be copyrighted. Okay, I want to test it and see if it, if it's copyrighted or not. If you are, so 
basically, if you are seeing the video, if it is posted and you are seeing the video, it means the test worked and was successful, and you are you're able to watch that video with that music playing in the background. But if you don't, it means that the copyright, you know, I I had to fix it or whatever before I could publish it or whatnot. So I, I'm I'm going to try making a couple of videos and yeah, you, uh, it'll be like a normal kind of video, but it will be in parentheses at the end of the title that it, it's a test video, and I'm going to number them and everything too. So. Let's see, the pan heated up a little bit, it likes to bend in the uh, oven, so that's the noise you heard there. And, of course, the the fridge is right there, so you're probably hearing the sound of the fridge too. Now, yeah, that's it for that. For now, I will be uh, putting my cooked chicken into the plate once I'm done. Um, wait. Let's restart start that. I want. Did I put that 20 minutes? It was 20 minutes, right? Yeah, okay, 20 minutes. So, while that is cooking, I'm going to let you go soon. I, I still got some milk to drink here. And now I get the last five of, of, the, uh, of the break opens. Let's see if I am a winner. The odd, Again, the odds are against me. I'm not saying oh I felt it that I I, I, I I knew for sure it was going to be a winner no I have no idea if I'm going to win or not I just had a little tingle of a feeling that I could win something but I'm, I am not predicting that I will so that's another another fail four more to go yep Another fail. So three more to go. So yeah. Like I every like I say, every blue moon, that's another fail. Every blue moon is okay. I uh, we'll take just a couple of dollars. Like I'm telling you, like two or three dollars if I have a little bit of change left. And it's only every every like two or three months when 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 like when I think of it, oh, oh I haven't gambled in ages. I'm, I'm gonna try a couple of, of break opens. So another dud, another n loser. So here's uh, here's the last try, the last one to see if I won, but I don't think I did. Nope. I'm gonna now. Okay, you see how I open them usually all at once. I'm gonna open it one at a time. I'm gonna open it for you. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So that's a no. There's a no. That's a no. I'm I'm pretty sure already that it's all a no. Oh, that's a no and another no. So yeah, we are we've lost. So all I've lost was three dollars and twenty and, and fifty cents. Three dollars and fifty cents. And that's it. That's going in the garbage. So the next time that I probably gamble anything like that, it's going to be, yeah, it'll probably be months, months from now. Stick that in there. I'll uh, wash those after once I'm done eating and everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you go right now and. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I want to do those. I want to be doing some some tests. It's mostly for the audio to see about the copyrights to see if I can't actually have something playing. Now, the one I want to really kind of try first is the uh, is the King Gizzard Polygon Wonderland. Like I had said before in a previous video, that album is copyright free. We ought to be able to do whatever we want with that album. If we want to make money off of it, we can, you know, if we, uh, you know, we can do whatever we want. They gave us that album for our use, for our benefit. It's totally 100% free. So, 
So there would there should be no reason whatsoever for you to to block it. There should be no reason for it. But they probably will. Now, mind you, when I do my test, I'm I'm not just going to be playing it and have it playing and no. I'm going to be talking over it. It will be on my stereo. I won't even be playing it like like you know a clip from YouTube or anything. It will be from my CD in my stereo in the background, not even full blast, just loud enough for you to hear it. But I will be talking over it. And then if uh, and if if YouTube decides that it wants to block it at that point, then then. Then yeah, clearly, clearly there is something wrong with YouTube and the way they the way they copyright stuff that should be fixed. That really should be addressed and fixed. And yeah, I kind of want to do a quick little test about that sometime this week. So okay, I'm gonna let you go right now, and then and you're you're gonna be seeing me very soon, like probably within the next. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try actually not post this right away so that when as soon as I'm done posting this I will be I will have posted my eating of the chick of the uh, the hot chicken Like yeah, not too long after that. So one last big gulp of the uh, of the milk I gotta go I'm going to go set everything back up into my room so that I can do my eating right in there in comfort and yeah so I'll be seeing you there so instead of saying my usual closer I'm just gonna say see you later and watch me sweat peace everybody <laughs>